Talk like this. Hello friends, I hope you are doing great. So today the project is solar water pump. So in this project we are going to charge the battery through solar panel and then we are going to operate the solar water pump motor. So this is automatic project actually whenever the water will be down according to your requirement then automatically water pump will be on and whenever uh, the tank will be full or you can see if you have applied this project in the fields so whenever field will be full then automatically this relay section is going to cut the motor. So now let me explain each section one by one. So first of all uh, this is the solar panel. So this solar panel uh, is capable of generating 18 volt so that 18 volt through this charger circuit so this is the charger circuit this one so through this charger circuit it is going to charge the battery so right now you can see that this led indicator is glowing why because solar panel is getting light so this is like actually studio light uh, i'm not in the open but this studio light also is converted through the solar panel into electrical energy so this is the indicator so through this in, uh, through this potentiometer you can uh, change the output voltage but right now we are uh, getting like we are charging 12 volt batteries so that's why we have set the output according to 12 volt batteries like it's nearly uh, 13.5 to uh, 14 volts okay uh, this is lm317 voltage regulator and this is high voltage resistor to control the charge and this is on a on off button so if you will uh, place this button in this direction then the project will be off okay uh, these are the connectors so these two points is uh, getting power uh, from the battery and also at the same time providing power to the battery now this connector is uh, taking power from here to the next unit which is automatic relay driver circuit or it's going to automatically on and off the motor so this is the motor so now first of all let me explain the relay unit so this is uh, the relay unit over here you can see that these are the two transistor so these two transistor act acting as a darlington pair okay uh, because uh, the signal coming from uh, the aluminium sensors which i'm going to explain you later is coming to this transistor unit this darlington pair unit and then this darlington pair unit is going to drive the relay so this is electromechanical 12 volt relay and this is the diode to bypass back emf and this is the led indicator which will show you whether the relay is on or on or off okay now let me explain you uh, the uh, water sensor so these are the two aluminium plates which is acting as a water sensor so one plate will go down uh, in the water one plate will go down in the water and the uh, another plate will uh, like you can set at a particular level so whenever that level will be met by the water automatically it will switch off the motor now if i talk about the motor so this is uh, the motor so this is uh, this motor is working on 12 volt high rpm high current motor so this motor will lift uh, the water from anywhere wherever you have storage of water maybe in the ground or maybe in a open area so that water will be let in into this motor through this pipe and then output will be taken from this pipe i'm going to show you demo later so uh, this is all about motor and the sensor now how we will uh, fit the sensor it, it will be like this so like this is the water uh, one sensor will go down so this sensor uh, will go down another sensor you can set at a particular level okay so as soon as that level will be met the motor will automatically cut so this is automatic solar water pump project so that's why it's automatic because it is automatic automatically on and off the motor according to uh, the level you have set so because this is metal so i'm not going to touch it over here because otherwise there will be uh, conductivity so uh, with some insulation you can put it over here as well by providing some something like which can insulate the sensor from this body so this is about the sensor now to get the data of this project you can go to the website circuitsbazaar.com from there you can find each and every detail of this project so let's see the demo now so now i'm going to show you the live working of the project solar water pump so these are the two uh, aluminium plates which is acting as a water sensor over here so one plate will go down in the water and the next plate which is second plate actually which uh, this plate is going to wait till the water will rise up as soon as the water will touch this second plate the motor is going to cut now let me just own the power supply of the motor now you can see that water is this uh, solar water pump is working now as soon as this plate will touch the water the solar water pump will cut down 
now you can see that as soon as the second plate is going to touch the water the motor will cut down and as soon as the water plate will come out then again the motor will start working like this now you can see that as soon as uh, the plate will come out the motor will start and as soon as the uh, the second plate will touch the water then the motor is again going to start like this so this is how your project is working